Greetings and salutations friends, my name is Nick Che. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I make videos about college, fashion, lifestyle, photography, and film. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if any of that sounds interesting. But today we are talking about the essential apps and software that every college kid should have downloaded. Now these are apps that I use on a day-to-day -day basis and honestly save me so much time, whether it's productivity, social media, or just making my life easier in general, to be honest. But before this video begins, make sure to follow me on Instagram, guys. I've been posting a ton of content over there. My handle is at Nicholas Che, and I post a bunch of stories, so make sure to check me out. Now. Number one, the app that I use every single day and I absolutely adore and has become a part of my lifestyle and my routine is Spotify. Spotify has absolutely killed the game over the past few years. Being able to stream any type of song you want, curate playlists, listen to what your friends are listening to. And honestly, as a college student, music is something I'm listening to every single day. Now, as you guys can see, it's on my computer, it's on my phone, it's on my tablet. So it's basically on every single device I use because the coolest thing with Spotify is their Spotify Connect. Now, basically what Spotify Connect is able to do is, let's say I'm listening to a song on my phone, I get to my dorm room, I'm I'm able to switch the device to play from my echo dot and then it's playing in my speakers let's say the music's too loud and i need to switch over to my computer all i have to do is switch it to my macbook pro and it's playing from those speakers let's say i need to go out again i can put it on my airpods so basically what i'm saying is spotify is a lifesaver now i did try out apple music for a few weeks and to be honest i'm not the biggest fan although it does tie in very well into the apple ecosystem and i have all apple products you know it's just not as intuitive as spotify is and the ability to not be able to listen to what your friends are listening to or have the curated playlist at the end of the year is something that I really enjoy about Spotify. Anyways, if you are interested in what I'm listening to, I will have my own Spotify profile linked down below. So, you know, follow me on there and, and you can see what I'm listening to. P.S. It's probably mostly Drake. Number two is the Google Suite. Google Suite has absolutely changed my life as a college student because it is so intuitive, it is so easy to use, and just about every college kid uses it. Gmail, obviously. Now, I use the Gmail app on my phone and on my browser more so than any native mail app just because I think it's a lot more intuitive, a lot easier to use, and they have a lot of cool features like auto-completed suggestions, like it will analyze the text of the email and already give you automated responses so you just click on it and it automatically send that now that is a huge game changer also another huge thing is like when i'm typing it will automatically kind of predict what i have in mind and i can just press tab and it'll automatically skip to that so gmail is a huge thing google drive obviously as a princeton student we have unlimited drive storage meaning that's where i upload a bunch of my backup files client work i can throw up on there and if i need to share a document with my study group or we're working on a project or something throwing it on a google doc and being able to type simultaneously and see what edits people have been making is an essential for a college kid. Now, a lot of people do use Google Calendar as their day-to-day -day driver to plan out their courses, plan out you know other activities and stuff. Personally, I'm a bigger fan of Apple calendars just because it does integrate a lot better with my ecosystem. So I'm able to get notifications on my phone, my watch, my tablet, and my computer all at the same time. So to be honest, I'm a bigger fan of Apple calendars, but that is totally up to your preference. Google Photos is an absolute lifesaver, especially as a photographer, but more so just as a student in general. It's able to back up and archive just about all your photos and videos that on your phone automatically through the cloud and it's seamless it works perfectly i have no complaints about google photos so to be honest if you haven't already i highly recommend setting up your google photos on your phone because there have been several instances where i've got a new phone and the icloud didn't sync properly so i lost a ton of photos but i went back in my google photos and i was able to find a lot of them so number three as far as how to take notes as a college student i have a couple different options obviously the microsoft suite is a very important thing and most colleges will have some kind of discount or you can get it for free through your university email so definitely look into that to be honest i probably use microsoft word to type out most of my essays just because I like the format of that better than Google Docs. Um, PowerPoint, to be honest, I don't use that a ton. Excel, I'm trying to get more into it. But the one that I do you kind of use on a daily basis is their Microsoft OneNote, which is their note taking system. So I'm able to take notes on my iPad and then have that seamlessly sync with my computer. Another great option is obviously Notability. Now I use Notability 80% of the time for most of my handwritten stuff just because I love writing with an Apple Pencil. It has so much flexibility as a note taking system that to be honest, I might prefer Notability more so than OneNote. Now my note taking strategy is a completely new video so make sure to leave a comment down below if that's something you're interested in but moving on number four is PDF element now they are the sponsor of today's video and honestly they are a game changer for any type of college student because you're able to work with PDF so easily in college most professors will upload their notes syllabus presentations in PDF format and if you don't know anything about PDF it's hard to basically open that up and edit it in the native app that it was used but what PDF element does is it helps you edit annotate and convert any type of PDF into anything you needed to now the way I use PDF element is to annotate a bunch of my syllabuses so I can highlight when certain projects or papers are due. If I need to sign any kind of document, waiver, or release, I'm able to easily integrate my signature into it. And one of the coolest features is let's say you have a 10-page presentation
presentation, but you only need slide two and eight of that presentation. You're able to mix and match and combine them and convert them into a single PDF. And that's honestly a lifesaver. You're also able to edit text and images that are natively in that PDF, which is kind of hard to do actually. So this is one of the first softwares that I've seen able to do it really well and effectively. And that's why I'm recommending it to you guys because I genuinely think that PDF element can save you a bunch of time. Number five, as a photographer and filmmaker, obviously something I use on literally a day-to-day -day basis is the Adobe Creative Cloud. Now I have the student bundle, meaning I pay $20 monthly, but for the apps that I'm getting, such as Photoshop, Lightroom, Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, Illustrator, InDesign, like these are apps that I genuinely need on a day-to-day -day basis to do my job as a freelance photographer and filmmaker. So only paying $20 a month for all that is honestly a steal. Uh, now, obviously this doesn't apply to everyone. Number one, I do recommend reaching out to your school and seeing if they have that software available or on some computers, they will have it already downloaded in specific media editing room. And like I said, Adobe Creative Cloud is something I use on a day-to-day -day basis for me to do my work. So this isn't for everyone, but if you are looking to get more into the creative space, then I highly recommend checking it out. Number six, this is a new software that I've kind of been testing out and I'm still trying Trying to see if it's going to be something I'm going to be integrating into my daily workflow but it is an app called my homework and I just downloaded it on my Mac but basically what it does is you add all your courses and then it's just a very efficient and organized way to add all the assignments deadlines term papers anything that's going to be due we'll have it marked out on a calendar so it's just really efficient really organized and it looks really neat I've also seen you can integrate it with your mobile app so I'll, I'll test it out a little bit more and get back to you on that but if you don't have a homework planner or some kind of journal where you write down your to-do list then you know this is a great option as well. Number seven, this is a absolutely must have for college kids for those nights where you don't want to go out, you just want to relax and that is Netflix. There are literally dozens of amazing shows and movies on Netflix, especially their Netflix originals have been killing the game lately, like the Fire Festival, the documentary, the Ted Bundy tapes, Bandersnatch, Bird Box, like all those movies were such great, incredible films. So having a Netflix subscription is honestly a lifesaver. To be honest, if you want to split with your friends in college, you could pay for a monthly family subscription and split it between four people and that could save you a ton of money. So look into that as well. Now, finally, number eight are news outlets. Now, as a college student, it does get easy to get caught up in your own bubble and not really know what's happening on in the world. So being caught up on your news and you know seeing what's happening in the current events is a really important skill and a great conversation starter as well Like people will be very impressed if you know what's happening with the refugee crisis in Syria Or you know what's happening with the wall things like that are obviously very important to know But can also tie very much into your academic studies as well Seeing how the economy is operating seeing how you know finance or the political state is going to affect certain states like that's You know pretty relevant and can be interesting so you know take the time to look into news outlets and once again, like I know that Princeton specifically has subscriptions with the New York Times, The Economist, a bunch of different news outlets. So we have free subscriptions with our Princeton emails. So look into what your school has to offer and take advantage of that. Finally, with a lot of these softwares, I know that some of them do offer student discounts. So Spotify has a account for students where you can get Hulu with that. So that is honestly a great deal. Like Adobe Creative Cloud, like I mentioned, you can get a student discount plan. So obviously these big brands know that college kids can't pay too much. So they try and do their best to incentivize you guys to you know, purchase their software. Now, once again, thank you to the sponsor of this video, PDF Element. Like I said, this is honestly a lifesaver as a college student. Being able to edit, annotate, and convert PDFs is a huge thing that you're going to be needing anytime throughout your four years. So make sure to hit that link in my description. You guys Guys won't regret it anyways that about wraps it up make sure to leave a comment down below of which app you guys enjoy the most and as always don't stress finesse